mm-hmm. for the Detroit Lions and the New York Jets. Come on, right? It's a win-win. I'm a kid in the candy store. Playoffs. Playoffs. Both of them. I'm telling you. Both and, of them. And, and, you know, the one thing about this, and we were just talking about this before the show break, is this is really a matchup of good on good. Yeah. In the last six games, the Detroit Lions – uh, have scored 29 points a game plus. The New York Jets defense has allowed 17 points. I mean, so something is going to have to give in this game. And we talk about this as well. It's not who you play, it's when you play them. The Lions, one of the hottest teams in the league, they won five of six. The Jets, going the other way. Yeah. They have lost four of six, but everybody knows they are a dangerous football team, especially at home. 100%. The Jets, obviously, in the last four games, they're going the opposite way. The Lions are going. The Jets are on a downswing. The Lions are on an upward swing, but the thing is, that Jets defense has still been playing good. That Jets defense, so the Lions can't go in there thinking, oh, we're the new big dogs. They haven't been able to score points. you got to go in there and be ready. you got to play as you've been playing. Don't make turn. Don't turn the ball over. Don't make self-inflicted negative score points. Still go in there and score points because the big thing about the New York Jets, Ryan, they can't run the ball and they can't score points. Like, they can't run the ball and they can't score points. So you start putting points on them, especially early. The Detroit Lions have started to liking putting points on the board earlier and getting that thing going and getting it started. That's how you got to beat these New York Jets. You got to just take the fans and take MetLife out of it right away. If they do that, I guarantee you, no matter how good that defense plays, it's going to be hard for them to put up points in lines and come away victorious. Hey, 